yo, 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 what's happening, fellas? How you doing? Now we did a little research, because uh, we figured we might take a look back. We're just trying to push the game forward. Forward. Throw the game, go forward. Take a look back, see if we missed anything. We actually went back to 4000 BC, where New Yorkers actually had fish hooks, knives, axes, harpoons. So I'm guessing, I'm guessing, 4000 BC, that somebody took a little bit of netting from the fishing activities, put it on a harpoon, and you got your first lax baller, 6,000 year old sport, maybe, who knows. Uh, in 1636 AD, French dude, Jean Le Brebeuf, saw the game and called it lacrosse, after a shepherd's cross, is what it looked like. Nevertheless, we found something. The Western Indians played two-handed ball. They had two sticks. I don't know what I'm about. They played two sticks. We're going to focus on one-handed ball with your strong hand. Those of you who are going to do whatever you need to do. But we're going to focus on this. So let's take a look at what you can do with one-handed activity. This is part one. Part two will be on the field. All right. All right. First thing, one-handed ball. One-handed ball. I mean, you don't know when you're going to use it, but you might get a couple goals. You might get a couple passes. A little bit of glory, every little bit counts adds up. One hand ball. First thing I think of is the control you get. You've got this close in support control. So if you're out, you know, if you're making a dodge out or you're even real close into the goal, you just have this put up your wand here, put up your, uh, your guard, guard arm. As long as you don't move it, you're not warning. As long as you don't move it, some guy tries to push it out of the way or hits it with a stick, it's his pound. As long as you don't move it, this is all your free space in here. It's a tremendous amount of control. So that's the first thing. The second thing is you got a lot of that free, you know, free not second. You got a lot of free space in here to work with with that control. Which with two hands you don't have so much. So close in, tons of control, uh, dodging, swim, etc., etc. A lot of control involved. With it. So that's a, the, the the first second thing. Third thing is surprise. You're, co you're coming in, you're, you're making your move, you got your two hands, you go to one, all of a sudden you back up, boom! You got a goal before, coach even knows it. So you can get a couple of goals out there before they figure out what you're doing. But it's not just surprise shots, passes, feeds, ground balls, etc. Check it out. Bam! Surprise goal. Said, there's all kinds of things you can do one hand. There's four of them. One, one, straight up, shot, feed, surprise, two, boom, straight up, shot, three, boom, and then come along far out. Whoa, follow me. You can get some power on this bad boy. Woo! Yeah. So, four little things you can do. Okay, I'm gonna be faster. I don't even do rules in the one handed game. Watch the video, that's it. Enjoy. No, 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 actually, probably should put a little time on the wall. Uh, if you saw the long ball, you really just get a little more mad. It's best to do it on the hand. You can pick, you can get, pick a brick from 15 yards away and start spanking that brick after a little bit of practice. But close in, there's like three little things you can do. First off is you're up top here, second is down low in front. The third is behind. You do that enough, it just get facile with it. It becomes part of you. Become one-ish with the ball. Yeah, do that for do that hundred times. You start doing that. Then to your back, to your back. You're tired and mastered it. Ah, have fun. Yes! Yes! Bonus coverage! Yeah, ground balls. Breaking and smashing gravity. You gotta get, get, get some of this. Check it out. Wouldn't that be great if all ground balls were just like that? This came cruising in for the cameras, looking good. Hey, mom, what's happening? Uh, that's not how it works, though, unfortunately. It's a mad scrum, a battle royale around the little white ball. 
So, two little things you can do. Two little tricks, one-handed style. Check it out. Oh, let's just pretend for one second that there's like 30 dudes around this ball from the other team. Call them what you want. Through the ages. The ancients through today. 6,000 years of scrappy ballers. Pardon the trip. So, so, so what do we got? We're in here. We can get in. We got 30 dudes. We can get in here. Get that quick break, man. You gotta practice that quick break because you are in and out of there fast. Speed break. Woo! Yeah, so. So that's one thing. You can probably start practicing by just sitting here like this. You can probably do some texting or voice texting along with it, or at least Googling. So you get that done, get that done, you might as well get that. All kinds of ways to do it. The best way is to just sort of get snapping in there. Get all fancy. Your grandma, your grandma can send you a note for that. Get that down. The second thing is just smash and grab. You're coming in here, you're like, oh, oh, oh. One hand. You gotta get that smash and grab down. Coming, whoa. All right. Two things. Break, work that baby. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. And smash and grab. Yeah. Practice, practice, practice. Add to your game. Another sliver of glory to add to the big redwood that is you. Enjoy. <laughs>